Hey guys, it's Celestia, and I'm finally here to talk about the Kofi situation. If you've been following my Twitter or my YouTube community page for the past few months, you've probably heard what's going on, but let me give a quick summary. Kofi, if you don't know, is a platform a lot of artists and creators trust and use to accept donations, sell commissions and merch, and even sell access to paywalled content. It has a fantastic, trustworthy reputation that artists everywhere, myself formerly included, felt reassured by, and subsequently felt safe using it. I can confidently say that trusting them and feeling safe using their platform Form was a mistake. Someone hacked into my Kofi account without my knowledge, changed the PayPal account associated with it to their own without Kofi ever informing me, and they silently accepted all of the donations I received from March 31st and on. During that time period, my iPad died, and because of the support of a lot of you guys, $781 was raised in donations to replace it. I replaced it in advance with my credit card while waiting for those donations to be sent to my PayPal, thinking I could pay it off right away when the transfer went through. After a significant period of time passed without that money showing up, I contacted Kofi, and they told me, oh yeah, you changed your PayPal account to this address on March 31st. That's where the money went. Someone that wasn't me managed to access my account from an IP and location that wasn't my own without so much as a security alert from Kofi, changed my payment information without even an email confirmation being sent to me, much less the vastly more appropriate email approval request, and Kofi's response was to tell me that there was no evidence of hacking, and to take it up with PayPal. In this video, I'm gonna go over the events that followed that response and the shocking, disturbing lack of security on Kofi that their horrible handling of this situation revealed to me. Because if this happened to me, it could happen to any other artist out there. And I want to encourage as many of you as I can to leave this platform and use an alternative instead so that it doesn't. As far as I'm concerned, Kofi does not by any means deserve the great reputation it still has, and I'll do everything in my power to make sure people see exactly how little they value artists. But first, very quick break to talk about today's sponsor. It's, uh, it's me. Hi. I finally bit the bullet and made actual Duchess Celestia brand merch rather than just general merch on my Etsy, and because it's specifically YouTube merch, it's not on my Etsy. It's right here on the brand new store section of my channel, as well as in video descriptions. There are four designs right now, but more will definitely be added over time, so keep an eye on that. Okay, that's it. Sorry. Back to the video. So what exactly did Kofi say when I told them that I had absolutely not changed my payment information to that PayPal email and didn't even recognize it? They said, make sure this isn't an alternate email address that you forgot changing it to, and said that they don't handle transactions so the donations were sent to, and I quote, the PayPal email you provided to us. I could not have been clear that I did not make the change and didn't know the email, but it took two rounds of replies for them to stop telling me that I did. This is when I started taking the situation to social media and mentioning them directly to get attention brought to it, at which point they finally escalated the matter to their support lead. It was around now that they basically said, this is why you should have had two-factor authentication on, heavily implying that the whole thing was my fault. And I admit, I should have had it on. I made my account before 2FA was a thing on Kofi, or at least one that was clearly advertised and encouraged, and I was never emailed or anything about the introduction of it. I never really looked at my account or logged in regularly, so anything that wasn't emailed to me by Kofi was not something I was aware of. Yes, I absolutely should have been more proactive about looking into it, and I do take responsibility for that, but the consequence for me not doing that should not have been to lose $781 because Kofi failed to alert me that someone on an unrecognized device with an unrecognized IP address accidentally accessed my account and that my sole payment method was changed by them. No suspicious activity alert, no please approve this payment method change, not even a hey, your payment method was changed. Nothing. Anyway, on May 30th, they escalate the issue to their PayPal manager. I get nothing but we still don't know anything updates until June 7th, during which time I try to contact the police. The police tell me this happens so often that they don't have the resources to do anything about it and that I should call the Canadian Anti-Fraud Center. I do that and they tell me they only actually collect and provide information about fraud cases, but they don't actually investigate or resolve them, and that I should call the police. So when I finally get a real update on June 7th from Kofi, I'm naturally very hopeful that it's good news, because I was not getting any help anywhere else. It's not. After a week, all they've managed to conclude is that since Kofi is neither the merchant nor the buyer in this situation, I have to submit a support ticket to PayPal. They also then offer me $100 as a token of appreciation for my patience, probably in response to me saying, I'm not just gonna shut up, I'm gonna make sure that people hear about this on social media. I never received that, but whatever. Regardless, I'm already pissed because not only did they take a week to say we can't help you, now I have to work with PayPal on this, and we all know how shitty they are. Anger aside, I went to submit a ticket, only to find out that because the transactions were between the donors and the hacker directly, and there was no transaction on my account to dispute, I actually couldn't submit a ticket. Two days later, Kofi gets back to me with another way to submit one directly. So I do. In the meantime, I ask Kofi what the hell they're doing to improve security, and they got back to me with this bang 
stinger of a response. Kofi already has several layers of security measures in place, but as part of our ongoing commitment to ensure the best possible protection for your account, we are taking additional steps to enhance our existing measures. One, two-factor authentication. 2FA has been available for all users for quite some time, and if it was active, would have very likely prevented this situation. We will be making additional efforts to advocate its use as an extra layer of security. Two, additional security email alerts. We're in the process of implementing an automatic email alert to promptly notify users of a change of payment method. We already have this in place for some high-impact account actions, but we'll be adding a notification for payment method changes. These enhancements are being implemented in addition to our robust existing security infrastructure, which continuously monitors transactions and takes action to prevent fraudulent or malicious use of the platform. So, once again blaming me for not having 2FA enabled, indirectly acknowledging that their failure to advocate its use probably contributed very significantly to me not knowing it was even available, and admitting that this very, very well-established, trusted, widely used platform is only now in the process of implementing automatic emails to notify users of payment method changes. The guy later confirms to me that the only email notifications currently being sent out for quote-unquote high-impact account actions are for email and password changes. Nothing else. No suspicious logins, no information changes, nothing. That shook me. Like, this is not a brand new company that's still getting itself set up. This is a massive, well-established company, and there is no excuse for basic security to only now be in the process of being set up. My brother in Christ, how low of a priority could artist safety be for these people? And I'm sorry, your robust existing security infrastructure which continuously monitors transactions and takes actions to prevent fraudulent or malicious use of the platform? Bitch, where? You just explained the entirety of your security infrastructure in two short bullet points, one of which isn't even in place yet. And how is it monitoring transactions and preventing fraud when I'm walking proof of the fact that it just straight up isn't doing that? That's like me saying, hey, I got punched in the face in your store, and then responding with, we have great security in place so that no one gets punched in our store. I already got punched. That's a blatant lie. I honestly couldn't even believe the sheer audacity of that message when I read it the first time, and I still can't, much less the obvious admission of guilt in terms of their shockingly basic, lax security being phrased like a brag. It just hit me really hard in that moment that I had put so much trust in this company because of how many artists do, and they swear by them. And it was 100% completely misplaced. It still feels like a betrayal. Anyway, on June 10th, PayPal finally responded to my ticket, and that's when I honestly just broke down and cried. Here's what they said. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. I can sense the urgency of these fraudulent charges that you are reporting will be resolved. At the same time, I checked your account and I cannot see any transaction posted. I also checked the account under the email address and no transactions being posted using the transaction ID that you provided. If your Kofi account is being compromised, I highly recommend contacting them because they have the highest point where they can check the said transaction on their system. Thank you for contacting PayPal and for being a valued customer. I'm glad I was able to answer all your questions. You may close the conversation by selecting end message. At this point, I had gone to the police for help and they sent me to the anti-fraud center who sent me back to the police. I had gone to Kofi for help and they sent me to PayPal who sent me back to Kofi. I felt hopeless, powerless, and completely overwhelmed. Everyone was basically telling me, sorry, this $781 you need to pay your credit card bill is gone, and we don't care. I went back to Kofi with this response and also pleaded with PayPal not to close my case and to please keep investigating and do something. Kofi said they'd look into it further, again, and three days later, PayPal sent me the following message. Page, I did review the details you provided and checked all the transaction IDs that you provided. This are the transactions listed on a different individual's PayPal account, and due to privacy issues, we don't provide the details without the account holder contacting us. I do understand that your Kofi account got hacked and they received all this payments on their PayPal account. However, we will not be able to access or provide the details present on that account without the account holder contacting us. Paige, I am sorry for the situation you're going through. If there was an option to report this payments or provide the details on the payment, trust me, I would have done it for you. Paige, again, I don't know why they keep saying my name, but whatever. I would suggest that you reach out to your Kofi customer support and let them know about the situation we explained and ask them to resolve the situation from their end. I appreciate your understanding in this matter. Thank you for reaching out. Celestia breaks down crying too, electric boogaloo. I sent their message to Kofi when I could breathe again, and by June 20th, all I'd received in response was an update saying, I'll talk to my manager. I'm so fed up at this point that I let them know I'm seeking legal advice on seeking reimbursement and damages from Kofi if the matter isn't resolved. Two days later, I get a response. I'm genuinely sorry for the stress and frustration you're going through. It's a tough situation, all due to 
an individual's wrongful actions. And I just gotta stop there for a second because excuse me, my brother in Christ, this is not all due to an individual's wrong actions. Obviously the hacker is to blame, but you, my absolutely reprehensible guy, are trying to completely absolve your scummy company of all blame too? No, you let this happen. You are responsible for this tough situation and your actions were wrongful too. Moving on. We are equally frustrated by how slow it has been in getting a resolution from PayPal here. As you know, it's PayPal who have processed these transactions and not Kofi, but it's taking far longer than expected and there is still no clarity on the specifics of their investigation. As such, I have gained agreement on this occasion to cover your loss of $721. Our hope is that this brings the matter to a close for you as quickly as possible. So more blame shifting from Kofi to PayPal, paying me to shut up about it, and not even giving the situation the care to get the amount right. It was 781, not 721. A correction that I made with him afterwards and he just was like, yeah, oh, you're, you're right, I guess, whatever. And then this king of garbage ended it off with, moreover, while we've always been serious about security, we're taking this opportunity to enhance our existing measures further as discussed. Okay, my guy, you've clearly never been serious about security and you're taking this opportunity to enhance your existing measures as discussed? The only thing we discussed about your security enhancements is that you're gonna start doing the bare minimum and sending people emails that you should have already been sending. Taking any pride in your security infrastructure and your plans to improve it at this point without doing so, so much better than that or even acknowledging fault in the first place is such a massive slap in the face that I don't even know how to process it. Anyway, that's where it ends. I accepted the reimbursement of the $781 lost because quite frankly, I can't actually afford to take legal action against a company. I've never heard another word from Kofi about the investigation, so I'm guessing they just dropped it all together, took the L and let the hacker get away with it and keep the money. I still have the hacker's email and PayPal merchant ID, but I am pretty much completely powerless to do anything with that information. This whole situation was almost a full month of nonstop stress to the point that I was physically and mentally falling apart. And the worst part is that the only resolution I got was, we're gonna pay you to shut up and we might someday start doing the bare minimum to maintain security for artists. No admittance of responsibility, no commitment to do any better than eventually maybe sending more emails to artists, no damage to their reputation as a platform that artists and creators everywhere can trust and feel safe using. I'm grateful to have finally been reimbursed, but I feel like the problem that made that reimbursement necessary hasn't been solved at all. It could absolutely be happening to other artists using Kofi even now, because I don't personally feel like they made any real commitment to change. They shifted blame from themselves whenever they could, and I don't feel right walking away from this situation without warning people currently using the platform to stop, because if they can't even accept that their security was the reason this happened, I don't believe that they'll put any effort into improving it since they're clearly so confident that it's already robust and great. I switched to buy me a coffee and I've had such a good experience with it so far that I would highly encourage anyone using Kofi right now to do the same. Before I end the video, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who responded to me speaking out about the situation with overwhelming support. To everyone who boosted my posts, shared kind words, and helped me pay my bills while this was all unfolding through commissions and buy me a coffee donations. Thank you so, so much. All of you made a horrible, exhausting, depressing, deeply stressful situation bearable, and I can't express how grateful I truly am for that. In conclusion, maybe someday Kofi will do better, but as of right now, they aren't, they haven't, and they have made it very clear that they do not have artist backs, and I'd personally rather not wait around for this platform to do better. I'd rather switch to and support one that already does, and I encourage you all to do the same. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Special thank you as always to channel members Cafe Soleil, Joseph Solomon, TC Pratt, Haruki Kenway, Zelda Deverack 42, and Art of Amethyst Fable, as well as patrons Batman, Kyle Lowe, Blue Swanson, Cora Fear, Jamisha Walker, Alengshi, Kim Yuan, Shamil Sheep, Crazy Asar, Gen Tong, Grayson Xavier, MG, Blah Mage, TC Pratt, Finn, Celine Merriman, Ash W, Inside Chaos, Eldritchia, The Stray Dog, Ulura, and Greg Noble for their support, and I'll see you in the next one.